hand here, getting into that race. And uh race, I'm not sure if you've made any laps with this car on this track, but uh how do you how do you feel um a driver will have to tackle tonight's track? Well, I did attend the very first practice, kind of like the practice of, uh, you know, will this actually work? And the car, um, it's, it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's actually not that bad. You think, I mean, you know, this really, um, this car is not built for this track, but it's actually, it's a, um, it's a lot of fun. Now, of course, for this to work out, there's going to have to be some give. I understand this is a, you know, win and you're out for the top two. So, I, of course, it's not going to be um, too much give and a lot more take. But the cars are surprisingly... Um, I mean, they're like a quicker late model because you know, I I used to really love this track when I first got into iRacing. I did a lot of late models to kind of work my way up, and I pretty much ran that same line. It's I mean, it's it's pretty identical. So I'm really excited to see how these guys take it around here. I think it'll be a lot of fun if, like I said, there's um, a little more gear than there is take early, and then maybe we can take some when we get right down to crunch time. Yeah, with this thing being 50 laps, I'm not sure we can have much give here because we're not going to have much time to do anything. So, there isn't going to be any sort of uh, race one, race two. This is just going to be a flat-out 50-lap race, and uh, make the top two, and you're in. So, we're going to take this uh, moment just to uh, take a quick break, and we'll be right back at South Boston. And welcome back. Just in time for the cars to take the grid. Again, welcome back here. Uh, South Boston Showdown Go or Go Home race here tonight. 50 lap event, and uh, then we'll be heading into the main. So I believe they're going to be taking around about two pace laps here. So the grid was randomized for this race. So our uh, start or our pole sitter tonight will be Austin Nielsen in that 65 car. Dale Owen will be beh beside him in the 26. Brandon Kaufman will be third, and then beside him will be Steven Cruz in the 10. And then uh, race, you can get the rest. Yes, sir, uh, behind him is Jeff Dodson. That's a new name I have not seen. He's in the 44. Starting behind him is Kevin Finn in the 6. i got to be honest. I think my results are all messed up, Justin. I think we'll just have to wait till these get correct, because I'm not yeah. showing what you're showing. I <laughs> guess... Take it, that'd be great. I guess that's an eye racing issue because uh, <laughs> I'm getting it over here too. I'll tell you one thing: we can't deny this. There are a certain amount of cars starting in a certain order based on how they qualify. You can't deny that. 
Yes, sir. So it actually looks like Zach Trevino is going to start on pole. I'm not sure where he came from, but he's up there now. So the lights are off on the pace car, and we're going to get ready to uh, go racing here. Again, let's emphasize the top two finishers here tonight. We're going to move on to the main event. That'll be 150 laps, but they got to make through the first 50 here tonight. So pace car is going to dive onto pit road, and we are green. And we already have a caution. All right. And that's a huge mess on the front stretch. Wow. Oh yeah. That's that's about five cars there. It looks like Dodson, the new name, got caught in that. I know I saw somebody in the fourth row get a little bit of tire spin. Uh, they got through it pretty cleanly, but I'm sure not everybody did. Wow. Jeff Dodson, uh, I guess, spun the tires there a little bit and uh, just about collected everybody. I'm actually not quite sure who's left. Not even quite sure where the pace car is. The leaders haven't caught up with that yet. Uh, pace car across the start finish. Yes, there it is. So right now we only have about two cars left. Everyone else has to catch up. There's three. Well, this is going to take a minute to sort out, so we're going to take just a quick break. Just a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, and welcome back. Like I said, just a quick break. I had to uh, fix something on my end. So, you had to hear Earl, Bar Earl Barbin call that first <laughs> caution. My apologies for that one. I think it looks like after this cycle's out, we're going to lose Kevin Finn, Chad Brown, and Samuel Close. They're all three laps down, showing all my results. I, Samuel Close? I'm not sure why Samuel was actually racing or not. He was in the main event. That's kind of interesting. You know what? You're right. I'm wrong. He's not even racing. I, was I meant Chad say. Brown, Kevin Finn, and Jeff Dodson. I was wondering why Jeff Dodson was not on my list. He was the cause of all that. My apologies. Yeah, Jeff Dodson, Kevin Finn, and Chad Brown look to be all four laps down a piece. So it looks like when we go back to green, we're going to have about eight cars still in the lead lap competing for that transfer spot for the top two. Yeah, I guess that made uh, making it to the top two just a little bit easier tonight. I don't think this track is very aerodynamic uh, dependent, but with some of the damage it could have taken back there, it could have hurt the handling on these cars. So, pace car lights are off, and we're going to get back to go back going to racing here. There we go. So we've had about six laps complete, going on seven here, and 44 to go. So pace car is going to dive in again, and uh, hopefully get a green, clean start. Everybody will spin there. Yeah. It's like Trevino got up to the lead, but. That, that seems to be a big issue at the moment. Uh, that may be something to watch later tonight. And already the battle for the lead is intensifying. Zach Trevino and Dale Owen going at it. Dale's going to stick Owen. it down below. Side by side for it. Looks like Dale's going to take it. That was a very good pass. That was a power move. Pretty early, but I mean, there's not a lot of time to get going. I really don't blame him there. Looks like he may just uh, check out here now. So that'll put Zach Trevino in second. Austin Nielsen's going to end up third. Fourth, actually. My bad. Brandon Kaufman's going to be the third. Richard Hines is fifth behind him. Cody Wright 6th, 
Steven Cruz seventh, and that's about all we have left on the racetrack right now. Nathan Young uh, still on pit road with a damaged car. He just went five laps down. Does Zach Trevino have damage on your side, Nathan? Uh, not Nathan. You are Justin. I don't believe I see any. I saw a little bit of right side damage. I've been watching him. Looks oh, we have a car. It looks like Austin Nielsen, the 65. And uh, that'll have heavy front end damage there. And that might that might be it. <laughs> that might be it for the night. Yeah, it looks like he um either caught the wall or had too much wheel in it coming off the floor. Yeah, taking a look at the replay right here. It looks like he just I think he caught a bit too much of that apron there and snapped her loose. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's the first time I've seen that. I like to use that apron. I really, um, of course, I was when we practiced at nighttime, so not quite the grip we had during that practice. Uh, yeah, it looks like that thing probably will not be competing for a top two tonight. Just a little bit too much apron there, and uh, he's still rolling with it. And I think that may just be because pit road is not open yet, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, that's just a bit of front end damage, but that still may be raceable. I don't think that's going to affect the amount of airflow that goes into that. Yeah, I'm just wondering about the engine, though. Yes. Looks like Nathan Young has damage. He must have been caught up in that wreck earlier, but kept it out on track. He was in pit road. I guess he may have some required damage, but he has seven laps down, so... Really, there's only about six cars left here without damage here. So it's not going to be too much of a fight. This is our second caution of the night. It's a little bit early, but let's take a look at the uh, race recap again. Ca two cautions here tonight, nine caution laps, and we've only had one lead change with Dale Owen going to the front. Quick look at the weather here as well. The skies right now are partly cloudy. Uh, air temp right now is 74 degrees. That's pretty cool. And track temp is a uh, pretty hot 100 degrees, 55% humidity tonight. So I'm assuming they uh, probably took the uh, two to go here last time around. With 33 laps to go. Said only about six cars left for it. So with this restart, let's uh, watch from up above as uh, so we see actually how many cars deal with wheel spin. So that seemed to be an issue on these last two restarts. Yeah, I noticed it looks like everybody on the inside lane is where I'm seeing it personally. Now these guys are racing into the darkness. When they go racing here later tonight, it's going to be fully dark. And oh, there goes eight. Cody Wheels Wright. Oh. Man. And again, but there's no caution. And now there's there a caution. Is. Another case, I mean, you think I just think, you know, um, I mean, of course, the last caution was not a case of wheel spin, but I mean, there has been wheel spin on every single restart. You'd think, you know, maybe you'd learn from that, but I suppose not. It must be that bad, though. I mean, that was, I mean, it turned him all the way around before he made contact, whoever that was behind him. Then, uh, that'll put five down as still contenders <laughs> for this race. We might have uh, the top two before the race is even over. I'd like to emphasize as well, we're not even halfway yet. Just about halfway, but... And I'm that hoping... I'm hoping the guys that are uh, racing tonight... Well, first of all, I'm hoping they're watching here tonight, learning some stuff, and uh, learning not to slam on the gas on these restarts, because it could be a little bit tricky. Looks like the 38 and 10 both have severe Im engine damage, so we'll probably count them out of this one tonight, so... Yep, uh, actually that'll... Yeah, the 10 was involved in that. That only really leaves four cars left. Which, in a sense, makes it more competitive. I mean, those four... I mean, those, you know, third and fourth now, so, I mean, they see the prize that's right there, so... Let's see if we can just get going. I mean, we got real good and strung out the last restart. But, uh, alas... 
Well, based what I've seen from Dale Owen, I don't think anybody really has anything for him in terms of uh, beating him, so that race really might be for the second spot with Zach Trevino. We'll have to see. Yes, sir, I think you're correct. I know the last race uh, we broadcast in the B Series, Iowa, I mean, Dale Owen. I mean, of course, Iowa and South Boston are not really similar at all, but both short tracks in their respect, and Dale Owen was very quick in that, so I definitely could see him running away with this one as long as he keeps all four tires straight and in the right direction. It seems to be a problem on the restarts here. Hopefully we've learned from our mistakes here. That's now a handful of cars now. It looks like we're going to lose. Yeah, you're right. It looks going to be... Um, Nielsen, of course, still shows on lead lap, but has that front end damage. So it looks like Richard Hines, Brandon Coffin, Zach Trevino, and our leader, Dale Owen, will be the real competitors for the top two positions to transfer him in tonight's feature. Well, I don't think Austin's pitted yet to repair any of the damage he got earlier, so I'm assuming it's all good over there on that machine, uh, engine-wise. So, when we get going, it'll be 25 laps to go, and uh, then we'll be halfway. But we only have about four cars left, so. <coughs> about two-thirds of the field is gone. No, oh, actually, more than two-thirds that are still competitive. So, we're going to restart here. Green flag is going to be out. And a clean restart. Yeah, I saw Zach wobble just a little bit, but not too much. Should be good. I'd say the real battle is going to be between that double zero and the 11 of Zach Trevino for that second spot. It looks like Del Owen could have this one wrapped up as long as he races a smart race. And like you said, I really hope... Um, people who are racing in the feature might really take note at the wheel spin, oh, of course. Oh! Little bump there between the double zero and the eleven, but no harm, no sure. foul. A little short track racing, no big deal, but like I was saying, I really hope we uh, take note of the wheel spin tonight. Of course, with the, uh, uh, the feature will be at nighttime with the cooler track, you know, it could really shake things up a little bit, but I uh, don't doubt that our guys are taking notes on what to expect this evening. Boy, Zach's leaving a lot of bottom open. Can the see coffin's it. got plenty of time. I wouldn't get too impatient and no ruin it all. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far down. We saw what happened there earlier. Well. I think you can use it one and two. Oh, oh and coffin that... to the wall. Should be okay. Huh? I can't say that he's not trying. Here's a right. Oh, oh another, another little bump. Or that's not a little bump. That was a big bump. Yeah, we're gonna have some problems here. Just Robin's not, race. It's all nah, good. this is short track racing. Kaufman gets a great run off three and four. I remember this. One and two needs to work on. This is the position of either getting into the All Star race or not. Eighteen laps to go. Uh, I think it may be heating up just a little bit too early, but... I think you're right. I think Coffin's going for just a little bit too early. Who knows? Richard Hines, uh, the fourth place car, is about 1.2 seconds back from this, so he's not a threat. And the gap to Dale Owen is about 1.8 seconds, so... Yes, sir. I think this is our race right here. Oh, just a little kiss to the wall. I'm really concerned, though, with how much bottom Zach's leaving open. Yeah, I, I, and for yeah. Brandon's racing, I don't doubt that he's going to use that eventually. I mean, he's not losing him. He's there. I mean, he's definitely there, so I can see why he's being a little bit more aggressive. But, I mean, if you're going to do a really aggressive move, make sure you save that for the end. Don't leave Zach enough time to get back to you. Oh, and they both got loose off that corner. That's going to oh, let wow. Brandon get underneath. Side by side, coming off of turn two, and Brandon's going to get it. Finally. Wow. Nice move. All right, so. Oh, got a little oh, bit loose there, and the oh, battle's back on. And it's off. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no! Caution's oh, out. Man. Trevino just dumps Brandon Kaufman. What a shame. That was a great race, too. Man. 
It's like Trevino said over the mic, he was trying to do a cross over there. It was not intentional by any means. I don't doubt that, but that's a shame because that was yeah. very, very entertaining. Looking from the onboard there of the 11, it looked like uh, he just, the double zero didn't get back into the throttle, back into the throttle quite as quick as he did. That's unfortunate, but uh, I don't think he got too much damage there. I don't think he got any, really. So he's got about, we're going to get going probably at about eight, seven laps to go. So he could maybe still have a chance at it, but... So we already know who's going to get locked in first. Dale Owen's going to make it into the show, no question about that. Uh, I don't think Richard Hines quite has enough for uh, a battle for Zach, but you never know. Yeah, this being a transfer race, there's no reason for Trevino to get aggressive with Dale Owen. I mean, they both have the speed. I don't think Richard Hines is there with him. And Kaufman, he's got the speed, but he's going to have to work his way around Actually, Richard very, very quickly. Kaufman right now is showing a lap down. Yes, so you're correct. That's kind of so interesting. Nielsen, of course, he's still in the lead lap, but it shows, as you can see, his damage is uh, definitely apparent. So, um, I mean... I'm not sure if they gave the wave around or not yet, but... Or if they're even doing that, but... That might be a... Tough break there. What a shame. That was some good race, and it's too bad it had to end that way, but... Looks like uh, neither one of them are, are in... Um, angry spirits about it, so at least there's that. But like I said, Trevino has no reason to get aggressive with Dell Owen because the top two are in no matter what. Um, well, I mean, you Richard still want Hines to has, win. Yeah, Richard Hines has every reason to get aggressive. Yeah, I, I just don't feel like he has the speed for it, though. But that's going to be a tough break. Yep, Brandon's going to pull it down pit road here. That's going to be a tough break for that. Very entertaining racing, Brandon. If you come back and watch this later, that was great. That was a lot of fun to watch. Well, we're uh, getting doubled up here, so. Gonna be six laps to go. I think and... one more caution, that'll about solve it. Yeah. Like, Trevino's hanging back a lot. So I think the racing may just be over. But I don't want to blow it out of the water yet. So Pace Car is gonna pull down. And we're green. Oh, Del Owen Everybody the got spin. wow. He corrected so here we go. The battle for second is on. Spoken too soon. Have oh 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 no! Oh no! no. no. Both. No way. Wow. Well. Well, that'll end the night of Austin Nielsen. <laughs> I think that'll just end it altogether. However. Because remember, we don't Del do... Owen and Richard Hines will transfer to the feature tonight. I'm sure Trevino is not happy about that. I'm not quite sure uh, the officials will have anything to say about that. I know Corey was throwing it out there to make sure everyone races cleanly. I don't think there was any you know, intent there. Well, of course, I mean, you know, this race wouldn't have any point implications. I mean, the only... I mean, the only um, way to be a beneficiary of this race is if you win. So uh, that's just that's the type of racing and um, any all-star type of thing you're going to get. Taking a look here on the replay here. It all went down in turn, or really coming out of turn four. Yeah, I think got, um, it, real was just, tight. it was all crazy. I mean, Dell Owen spun his tires, got away a little bit, and then kind of we uh, sunk back towards the little pack three there, and that was that was just crazy. Really, no other way to put it. Oh, yep. Because we didn't get the win to go here, it'll be over now. Yes, sir. So Richard Hines and your winner, Dell Owen, will transfer to the feature later tonight. And of course, you can catch that feature right here on Full Throttle TV. Yes, sir. Don't miss it. That was certainly entertaining. Yeah, had some good racing all around. It's a bit unfortunate it had to end like that, but. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, if I'm honest, that's kind of what I expected. Like I said, there's the only way this race benefits you is if you're first or second. There's no point implication. There's nothing to it. So, I mean, that's just, that's what you're going to get, plain and simple. I'd like to point out as well is uh, Dale Owen has the cleanest car out here. He's the only one that doesn't look like he has any damage on it. So, just shows you the craziness we got here tonight. Yeah, I think Dale Owen's definitely one to keep an eye on. 
So here, the white flag is out. And, uh, we're All things considered, I consider this a good race. I mean, that's kind of what you expect. I mean, it's South Boston with the Gen 6 cars, a 50 lap shootout. And like I said, you win. If you don't win in your second place, you're out. So that's just uh, that's what you're going to get. Yes, sir. We knew it was going to be crazy, first of all, because it's South Boston in a Gen 6 car. But uh, also the desperate manners of everyone trying to get into the race. And uh, maybe this is a little sneak peek for what's in store tonight. So again, Dale Owen is going to win here tonight, and uh, Richard Hines, both of them are going to make it in. Tough break for Zach Trevino, and a really tough break for Brandon Kaufman. So let's take a look at where they all finished. Again, Dale Owens finished first, Richard Hines finished second, they're both going to advance. Then you have Zach Trevino finishing third, Austin Nielsen fourth, Brandon Kaufman fifth. Then Nathan Young, 6th, Stephen Cruz, 7th, Cody Wright, 8th, Jeff Dotson, 9th, Kevin Finn, 10th, and then Chad Brown, 11th, Samuel Close, going to finish out 12th, Rusty Webb, 13th, Brett Miller, 14th, and uh, Corey Lindsay, 19th. Actually, 12th through 15th didn't weren't racing <laughs> tonight. So. All good. That overall, like I said... All things considered and all things expected, I, I found that very entertaining. The race between Trevino and Kaufman was very, very entertaining. I hope we get a lot more of that tonight. Yes, sir. So uh, as we said before, we're going to go off the air here tonight, but tune back in at about 10.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the main event. 150 laps, and uh, hopefully we won't see as much carnage as we saw here tonight, but should be a fun one as that. Again, I'm... Uh, for Race Clark, I'm Justin Cole. We'll see you here later tonight. Peace out, Girl Scouts.